big difference when he grows up that he will have in his own house a console through which he can talk, get all the information he needs in the course of living in a complex modern society. I wonder though, what sort of a life would it be like in social terms? I mean, if our whole life is built around the computer, do we become a computer-dependent society and a computer-independent individuals? In some ways, but they will also enrich our society because it will make it possible for us to live really anywhere we like. Any businessman, any executive could live almost anywhere on earth and still do his business through a device like this. And this is a wonderful thing. It means we want him to be stuck in cities, we better live out in, in the country or wherever we please, and still carry on complete interaction with human beings as, as well as with other computers. I see the baby's heart. I see it in 3D. I can see it from the front to the back. I can see it from the top and I can see it from the bottom. The gift of health this holiday for a baby girl and her family, the four month old recovering from lung surgery. The doctors at Nicholas Children's Hospital refuse to give up on her. They use new technology developed by Google that requires a smartphone and a cardboard box. The old VR images that we used to get were just too grainy not specific enough for the fine detail you need to do a, a, a delicate open heart repair on a baby. So what I can feel right now is I'm going through the trabecular bone. I can actually feel the resistance as I go back and forth. Kevin Walsh finds relief from his pain by immersing his mind in a 360 degree world of snow and ice. Uh, can we use virtual reality in particular to give patients the opportunity to escape the four walls of the hospital room? Hi. Should load up. Whoa. What do you see? Um, horses. What's happening now? The helicopter, waterfalls. <laughs> Have you ever been to Iceland? No. With the music and everything, it's real peaceful. Oh, it's people. <laughs> hey. Like you're immersed in. How did it make you feel? Relaxed. Very relaxed. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking about the pain. You weren't? No, I wasn't. Really? I was just thinking about being there. And if you feel woozy or anything, just let me know, okay? I'll be right here and I can oh take them off. Oh my gosh! I can take them off whenever you want. Just let me know. Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh! I'm on top of the world! I'm a world traveler, that's my favorite thing to do is to travel and to film and when I'm here all I do is just dream about going to my favorite places. And when they came in yesterday and I met with the doctor and his team, I was just, oh, it was like an answer prayer. It was like exactly what I had been asking for and as soon as I put the headset on the first time, it was like I was on a beach, I, it was like I could smell the sound, I could hear the sound. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's my grandma. Good morning, Harmon. I feel like I'm sitting in my living room. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank you so much, God. You have no idea. But a virtual reality company and care home group have collaborated to develop a series of virtual reality experiences to help treat those living with dementia. You recognize the house? Yeah, well, wait a minute. Oh, don't say that. Without us bringing her there, she wouldn't have had those memories. She wouldn't have remembered the neighborhood that she walked in and the fact that her husband worked on the back of her house. Virtual reality allows us to really spark that new memory. There appears to be something else going on between Angus's brain and body. He's beginning to move his feet on his own. Dr. Steinberg makes a final VR confirmation. I'm simulating drilling away the bone that's overlying the aneurysm. Minutes later, he starts the real operation in what's now familiar territory. We virtually have 3D x-ray vision, we'll be able to see a tumor under the surface and have great confidence during the operation. This isn't what's coming, this is here now, and it's only going to get better. I mean, this isn't a fad. These neurosurgeons are using this technology and it's making them better and it's saving lives. 